Are you looking for a super easy, low sew amigurumi crochet pattern that you can crochet in just about an hour? If so, then you should definitely consider making this adorable little bunny right here because it is exactly that. It is super easy to make and it is low sew. The only thing that you have to sew on are the ears at the top here. And this bunny is super quick to work up. I want to say it took me about an hour to make. So yeah, definitely a quick project to make. And lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to crochet this bunny from start to finish. I also just wanna quickly add that I will be selling the PDF version of this pattern on my Etsy store for those of you who prefer to follow a written pattern. Anyways, that's all I have to say for the intro, so now let's start making this bunny. Okay, so these are all the materials that we will need for making this bunny. So I have some chenille yarn in the colors yellow and white. And you can use whatever colors you want for making this bunny. I'm making my bunny yellow and then I have white yarn for the tail. So this is the yarn that I will be using to make this bunny. It's the Sweet Snuggles Light uh, chenille yarn. I got this from Michaels and it is a size super bulky, six but uh, you can use any yarn for this pattern. This pattern was designed with chenille yarn, so I do think it will look better with chenille yarn, but you can use whatever yarn you prefer. And then I have my hook, and I'm gonna be using a size five millimeter crochet hook. And the size of hook that you use just depends on the yarn that you use for this pattern. So the way that I choose the size of my hook is I always go about two to three sizes down from the recommended hook size. So for example, this yarn recommends a eight millimeter size hook and I'm using a five millimeter size hook. So I went down three hook sizes. And then we'll need a pair of scissors, a darning needle. We'll need some stitch markers, but we only need one. And then we need some stuffing. So this is polyester fiber fill, um, but you can use whatever stuffing that you prefer. I like this kind of stuffing because it's very soft and squishy and we'll definitely need a lot more than what I'm showing right here. Oh, and I almost forgot, we'll also need some safety eyes. So I'm gonna be using some eight millimeter safety eyes and we just need two of them. Actually, one more thing that I almost forgot, and it is this yarn right here. This is a fingering weight cotton yarn, and you just need a small amount of it. It doesn't have to be exactly like a fingering weight or a cotton yarn, just a small amount of thin black yarn to use to embroider the nose onto the bunny. So these are all the materials that you will need for making this bunny. And now that we've covered all that, let's start crocheting the bunny. Okay, so first we're gonna start by making a magic ring or also known as a magic circle. So we're just gonna start by making an X over our two fingers here. I'm gonna take our hook and go under, over, hook the yarn, pull it through and twist this way. And I'll hook our working yarn here and pull it through. And this is what the magic ring should look like. So now we're gonna start round one. So for round one, we're gonna crochet six single crochet stitches into the magic ring. So we're gonna insert our hook here, crochet our first single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one. And now two, three, four, five, and six. So after crocheting six single crochet stitches into the magic ring, we're now gonna close the magic ring by pulling on this tail yarn right here. So we're gonna pull until the ring closes. And you just wanna be careful when working with chenille yarn when pulling on this tail yarn here to close the ring, this yarn can snap. Um, that's totally normal if it happens. It happens to me all the time. I'm so surprised it didn't happen just now. Um, and then if that does happen, you'll just have to start over. But it happens to the best of us. It's just, I find it's just part of the process when working with chenille yarn. So I'm just grabbing my stitch marker here to get ready for the next round. So now I'm gonna start round two. So for round two, we're gonna increase into every stitch in the round. So an increase would be doing two single crochet stitches into one stitch. 
So I'm just gonna start by inserting my hook into the next stitch, the start of round two. So I've inserted my hook and single crochet. And this is the first stitch of round two. And now I'm just gonna take my stitch marker and place it into the top of this stitch here just to mark the start of the round. And now I'm just gonna complete that increased stitch. So I'm gonna go into that same stitch a second time and single crochet. So and now I've just completed my first increase. So now I'm just gonna to continue to increase into every stitch in the round. So a total of six times. So one single crochet, go in a second time to complete the increase. And again, so in round one, we had six stitches, but now since we're doing an increase into every single stitch in the round, at the end of round two, we're gonna end up with 12 stitches. So we're pretty much doubling our stitches. Okay, so I've just reached the stitch with the stitch marker in it, which means that I have reached the end of round two. So now I'm just gonna take out my stitch marker and I'm gonna insert into the next stitch and single crochet and place my stitch marker into this stitch. And this single crochet stitch that we just placed the stitch marker in is the start of round three. So for round three, we're gonna crochet one single crochet stitch, one increase, a total of six times. So I just crocheted my first single crochet stitch and now I'm gonna insert into the next stitch and crochet an increase. So one single crochet, two single crochet into the same stitch. So now I've just crocheted one single crochet, one increase, and now I'm gonna repeat what we just did here a total of six times. So now into the next stitch, I'm gonna crochet one single crochet. And in the next stitch, I'm gonna do an increase. And now we're gonna repeat that again. So into the next stitch, single crochet. And in the next one, increase. So I'm just gonna continue to crochet the rest of the round off camera, and then I'll come back once I've reached the end of the round. Okay, so I just reached the end of round three. So the end of round three, we should have 18 stitches in the round. So now I'm gonna take out my stitch marker and insert my hook into the next stitch and crochet my first single crochet stitch of round four and then place my stitch marker into the first stitch of round four. And now for round four, we're gonna crochet two single crochets, one increase, and we're repeating that a total of six times in the round. So I already have my first single crochet stitch done, and I'm gonna insert my hook and crochet the second. So one, two, and then insert into the next stitch to crochet an increase. So now I've crocheted one single crochet, two single crochets, increase. And now we're gonna repeat what we just did here a total of six times. So I'm gonna insert my hook and crochet one single crochet, insert into the next stitch, two single crochets, into the next stitch, and do an increase. So I'm just gonna do the rest of the round off camera and then I will come back once I've reached the end of round four. So I've just completed round four and at the end of round four, we should have 24 stitches in the round. So now I'm just gonna take out my stitch marker here, insert into the next stitch and crochet the first single crochet of round five. Place my stitch marker into that first stitch here. Okay, so from round five to round seven, we're just gonna crochet one single crochet into each stitch in the round. So that comes up to three rounds. So the next three rounds are gonna be pretty easy. It's just one single crochet into each stitch. So I already completed my first single crochet. So now I'm inserting into the next stitch, single crochet, insert into the next stitch, single crochet, insert into the next stitch, single crochet. So now I'm just gonna continue to do this for the next three rounds and I'm gonna do these rounds off camera and then I will come back once I have reached the end of round seven. 
Okay, so I just reached the end of round seven and just make sure that you still have just 24 stitches in the round at the end of round seven. So now I'm just gonna take out my stitch marker and insert my hook and crochet the first stitch of round eight, which is a single crochet stitch. I place my stitch marker into that first stitch here. Now for round eight, we're gonna crochet two single crochet stitches, one increase, and we're gonna repeat that a total of eight times in the round. So I already completed my first single crochet stitch, so now I'm gonna insert into the next stitch, crochet the second single crochet, and now insert into the next stitch and do an increase. So I have one single crochet, two single crochet, increase. And now I'm gonna repeat what I just did a total of eight times in the round. So I'm gonna insert into the next stitch here, do one single crochet, insert into the next stitch, second single crochet, insert into the next stitch, increase. So I'm just gonna continue working down this round. I'm gonna do it off camera, and then I will come back once I've reached the end of round eight. So I just reached the end of round eight, and at the end of round eight, we should have 32 stitches in the round. So now I'm just gonna take out my stitch marker here, and I'm gonna insert my hook, and crochet a single crochet, and crochet the first stitch of round nine, which is a single crochet stitch, and then place that stitch marker in it. Okay, so now in round nine, we're gonna be doing a new kind of stitch called a popcorn stitch. So these popcorn stitches are gonna make up the arms and the legs, and this is what they look like. It just creates a little nub, which we are using for the arms and legs and the tail. So for round nine, we're gonna start by first crocheting nine single crochet stitches. So I already have my first single crochet stitch, and I'm gonna insert to the next stitch, do a second single crochet, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now into the next stitch, we're gonna be crocheting a popcorn stitch. So bear with me here. I'm gonna show you how to crochet the popcorn stitch. So for the popcorn stitch, we're gonna crochet five double crochet stitches into this one stitch here. That's the first step of the popcorn stitch, and then there's a second step, but I'll show you that in a second. So for a double crochet stitch, I'm gonna yarn over and insert into this stitch here. Now hook my yarn, pull it through, and now we have three loops on our hook here. So I'm gonna hook my yarn and pull it through the first two loops, and I'm gonna hook my yarn a second time and pull it through the last two loops. So I'm gonna do that again, yarn over, insert into that same stitch, hook my yarn, pull it through the stitch, hook the yarn again, pull it through the first two loops, and then hook it again and pull it through the last two loops. So now I'm gonna just do my third double crochet, and now fourth, and now fifth. So I've just finished crocheting the five double crochet stitches into one stitch. So now I'm just gonna open up this loop a little bit here, just a little bit, take out my hook, and now I'm gonna insert my hook this way, not this way, into the top of the first double crochet stitch that we did. So into this stitch right here, just inserting my hook into the top of it, and I'm gonna insert my hook into the loop of our last double crochet stitch that we just did. So I'm just inserting it this way. And now I'm just gonna tighten the loop just a little bit. And now I'm gonna pull this loop through the top of our first double crochet stitch right here. So I'm just gonna pull it through like this. And now we've just completed our popcorn stitch. This is what it looks like. So now we have to insert into the next stitch. And this can be a little tricky since the popcorn stitch is so bunched up, it can be a bit tricky to find the next stitch and you want to make sure that you're inserting right into the next stitch and you're not skipping it in case you don't see it. So we kind of have to go digging for it here but this is the next stitch. This is our popcorn stitch inserted into this stitch here and now the next stitch is this one right here. 
and it likes to hide a little bit sometimes so make sure not to miss it so now I'm just gonna insert into this stitch and now I'm gonna single crochet this can be a little tricky because it's very tight at this point so single crochet after our popcorn stitch we have to crochet 13 single crochet stitches so I already did my first single crochet here now insert into the next stitch that's the second single crochet now three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen okay so after crocheting thirteen single crochet stitches we're now going to do our next popcorn stitch so we're going to do the popcorn stitch into this next stitch right here so five double crochet stitches into one stitch so yarn over double crochet do that four more times two three four and five and now I'm just going to take my hook out from this loop here and I'm going to insert my hook into the top of our first double crochet stitch and then insert it into the loop of our last double crochet stitch. Tighten the loop just a little bit and then pull the loop through our first double crochet stitch and now we've completed the popcorn stitch and now we're going to insert into the next stitch here. And if you look here, it almost looks like this is the next stitch but it's not. We have to pull the popcorn stitch aside to find our actual next stitch, which is this one right here. I'm gonna insert my hook and single crochet. And now we're just gonna crochet one single crochet stitch into each stitch in the rest of this round. So a total of eight single crochet stitches. I already have my first one done. So that's one, two, three, four, five six seven and eight so at the end of round nine we should have 32 stitches in the round and these popcorn stitches are counted as one stitch so even though there are five double crochet stitches in one stitch this popcorn stitch is just counted as one okay so now i'm just going to take out my stitch marker insert my hook and crochet the first stitch of round 10. I'm going to place my stitch marker into the first stitch. And now for round 10 and round 11, we're going to crochet one single crochet stitch into each stitch in the round. So the next two rounds, rounds 10 and 11, are pretty straightforward, but I just want to show you what it looks like to crochet along the round once we reach our popcorn stitch here. So you just want to make sure that you're inserting into each stitch that you're supposed to. But once we reach our popcorn stitch, we wanna crochet a single crochet stitch into the popcorn stitch as well, but it doesn't look like a regular stitch. So we pretty much just insert into the bottom of the popcorn stitch. And now we're gonna crochet a single crochet stitch. And then we're just continuing down, inserting into the next one. So yeah, I just wanna point that out because I found that to be a little tricky the first time I did a popcorn stitch. And I just wanna make sure that you guys know that you have to count the popcorn stitch as a regular stitch and insert and crochet into it as if it is a regular stitch. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. This is the second popcorn stitch. Just inserting into the regular stitch where before the popcorn stitch. Now we're gonna be inserting into the base of the popcorn stitch. So again, it's just this little stitch here and single crochet and just continue so the stitch count for rounds 10 and 11 is 32 stitches in the round okay so now I am just one stitch away from fully completing round 11 and at the start of round 12 on the very first stitch of round 12 
we're gonna be doing a popcorn stitch for the tail. And the tail, we're gonna to wanna to make a different color. We're gonna to wanna to make it white. So we're gonna to have to switch colors before doing this popcorn stitch. So with just one stitch left to do for round 11, I'm just gonna start crocheting the single crochet stitch, but I'm gonna stop here with just two loops on my hook here. And now I'm just going to cut my yarn and we're gonna be changing colors to this white yarn right here just for the popcorn stitch. So now I'm just gonna take my white yarn here and I'm gonna loop it on my hook and I'm just gonna finish the single crochet stitch with the white yarn. So changing colors this way doesn't make our last stitch of round 11 a white stitch. It's still gonna be a yellow stitch, but now our next stitches are gonna be in the color white. So now I'm gonna be taking out my stitch marker, but since the first stitch of round 12 is a popcorn stitch, it's gonna be a little tricky to place my stitch marker into the popcorn stitch. So I'm just gonna place it into the stitch right above it in the previous row for now. Like that. And our white popcorn stitch will indicate the start of round 12. So now I'm gonna do this popcorn stitch so one double crochet, two double crochet. So the entire popcorn stitch is with the white yarn. Okay. Three double crochet, four double crochet. Okay, and now we're gonna do the fifth double crochet but for the second half of the popcorn stitch, we're gonna be doing it in yellow yarn. So I'm gonna do the first half of the double crochet in white, but once I have just two loops on my hook here, I'm gonna switch back to yellow yarn. So I'm just gonna cut my white yarn here, and now I'm gonna switch back to yellow. So I'm gonna take my yellow yarn, loop it onto my hook, and finish off this fifth double crochet stitch here with yellow yarn. So now it's gonna look like all five double crochet stitches here are made with white yarn. And the next step of this popcorn stitch is gonna be done with yellow yarn, but we don't see that part since it's underneath the popcorn stitch. So again, just insert our hook into the first double crochet stitch here and then into the loop, into our yellow loop and pull it through. So that's the first stitch of round 12, this popcorn stitch here, the first is the first stitch. So this round, round 12, has a total of three popcorn stitches in it. So we're doing the tail and both legs in this round. So after doing this popcorn stitch here, we're gonna crochet 11 single crochet stitches. So I'm gonna find this next stitch here and insert my hook. So that's one single crochet, and now two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I've just done 11 single crochet stitches here after the popcorn stitch, and now we're gonna do our second popcorn stitch of the round. So into this next stitch here, gonna crochet five double crochet stitches, so one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna insert my hook into the top of the first double crochet and then into the loop of the last double crochet and pull it through. So after this popcorn stitch here, we're gonna crochet seven single crochet stitches. So into this next stitch here is single crochet number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now that I've just crocheted seven single crochet stitches, I'm going to crochet the third popcorn stitch of this round into the next stitch here. So five double crochet stitches into one stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Insert into the top of the first stitch, then into the loop of the last stitch. Pull it through. So after this third popcorn stitch here, we're gonna crochet 11 single crochet stitches until we reach the end of round 12. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so I've just reached the end of round 12, and at the end of round 12, our stitch count should be 32 stitches. And don't forget that one popcorn stitch counts as one stitch when counting your stitches. So now we're gonna start round 13. So we're gonna insert into the space under this popcorn stitch here and single crochet the first stitch of round 13. Now I'm just going to take my stitch marker back and I'm gonna place it into this first stitch here. Also, look how cute this little tail is. So for round 13, we're gonna crochet two single crochet stitches, one decrease, a total of eight times in the round. We're gonna be doing decreases for the first time now, so just bear with me. So I have the first single crochet done, and now I'm gonna insert into the next stitch, do the second single crochet, and now we're gonna be doing a decrease stitch. So a decrease stitch is pretty much, we're just getting rid of a stitch, so we're gonna be crocheting two stitches together. So I'm gonna insert into my next stitch and start the single crochet stitch process, and I'm gonna stop with just two loops on my hook here, and then I'm gonna insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull the yarn through, and now we have three loops on our hook here. And at this point, we hook our yarn and pull it through all three loops. And by doing that, we have just single crocheted two stitches together, eliminating one of the stitches. So I have to repeat this process, the single crochet one, single crochet two, decrease. I have to repeat this process eight times. So I'm gonna insert into the next stitch here, One single crochet, two single crochet, and now we have to decrease, so insert. So bring up two loops, insert into the next stitch, bring up third loop, and then hook the yarn and pull it through all three loops. So I'm just gonna continue to do the rest of this round off camera and then I'll come back once I've reached the end of the round. So I just reached the end of round 13. And at the end of round 13, we should have 24 stitches in the round. So I'm gonna take out my stitch marker, insert my hook, and single crochet. So this is the first stitch of round 14. I'm gonna place my stitch marker. So for round 14, we're gonna crochet one single crochet stitch, one decrease, a total of eight times in the round. So I already have my first single crochet done, so now into the next two stitches, I'm going to decrease. Into the next stitch, I'm gonna single crochet. And then in the next two stitches, I'm gonna decrease. And I'm gonna continue to do the rest of the round off camera and then I'll come back once I've reached the end of round 14. Okay, so we're just gonna pause the crocheting process for a moment here and we're gonna take this moment to, to tie our knots and add our safety eyes before this hole at the bottom here gets too small. And I'm just gonna tie some knots where my color changes are. Okay, and there's no need to cut these ends since it's an amigurumi, so these ends will be inside, so it almost just becomes part of the stuffing. And now to add the safety eyes. So I'm gonna be using size eight millimeter safety eyes, and we wanna add the eyes between round six and round seven. So if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is seven, so between these two rounds right here, so just like this. And we want the eyes to be centered as much as possible between the arms and legs here. So I have about one, two, three stitch holes between both of my eyes, but you can place your eyes however you like them. And I'm gonna take the backing of the safety eyes and flip this inside out here and place the backing. Onto, onto the post of the safety eye and just click it on, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. 
Okay, so now that our ends have been tied and our eyes have been added, we can get back to our crocheting. Okay, so as you can see, our hole is getting smaller. So in about two, one or two more stitches, I'm gonna start the stuffing process before the hole gets too small. But I'm gonna start round 15 first. So for round 15, we're just gonna do decrease stitches. So we're gonna decrease a total of eight times in the round. So our first stitch is gonna be a decrease stitch. So I'm gonna take out my stitch marker and I'm going to into the next two stitches and do a decrease stitch. So this is the first stitch of round 15 and I'm gonna place a stitch marker in it to mark the start of the round. And now I'm just gonna to continue to decrease around but now that I have done the first two stitches, first two decrease stitches, this hole is definitely getting a little small. So I'm gonna get my stuffing and start adding it into the amigurumi. So I'm just making this loop here a little bigger so I don't lose any stitches during this stuffing process. Now I'm just gonna take my polyester fiber fill and start stuffing it into the amigurumi. Now I like to stuff mine really well. I just prefer my amigurumis nice and firm, but the amount of stuffing that you add is totally up to you. Okay, so I stuffed the bunny pretty good. He's nice and squishy, but still firm. So now I'm just gonna continue crocheting round 15. So I'm gonna do the rest of the round off camera, and then I will come back once I've reached the end of the round. Okay, so I just reached the end of round 15, and at the end of round 15, there should be eight stitches in the round. But now that we finished round 15, I'm just gonna add two more decrease stitches to bring the stitch count down to six instead of eight. Okay, I just finished the two extra decreases at the end of round 15, and now our hole at the bottom here is much smaller. And now I'm just going to cut the yarn. You don't wanna cut it too short yet but just about this length here, cut it and fasten off. So I'm gonna hook my yarn, pull it through this loop here. There we go. So now we have finished the crochet portion of this, of the body here. And now we just wanna close this hole at the bottom. So I'm gonna take my darning needle. I'm gonna thread this tail yarn here through the darning needle. And now I'm gonna weave my darning needle through the outer loop of each stitch of the last round. So six stitches. So weaving it through all six in the last round here. And then try to get it through the outer loop of the stitch and not the entire stitch. So the outer loop here, not the entire stitch. Once you've weaved the yarn, through the outer loop of each stitch, so all six stitches. Now we're just gonna pull the yarn until this hole closes at the bottom here. But you, want, you don't wanna pull too hard if you're using chenille yarn because you really don't want this yarn to break off. And now we're just gonna tie a knot. And weave in this end. I'm just gonna cut this little end here. Okay, so now we have officially finished making the body. So now that we have the body done, we are now going to crochet the ears. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a slip knot. And then put the loop of the slip knot onto our hook and tighten it. And now we have to make a chain of six. So we're gonna chain six here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is what our chain of six should look like. And now for row one, we're gonna crochet down this chain right here. So we're gonna have to crochet a total of five single crochets down this chain here. So we're gonna start by inserting into the second chain from our hook. So not this chain here, but into this chain, we're inserting our hook and single crochet. So there's one single crochet 
insert into the next chain, two single crochet, insert into the next chain, three single crochet, insert into the next chain, four single crochet, insert into the last chain, and that's five single crochets. So for row one, we have five single crochets. And now for row two, we're gonna be working around both sides of the chain. So we're gonna chain one and then work our way down this side. And then we're gonna crochet three single crochet stitches into this point here. And then we're gonna continue working down this side of the chain. So we're gonna go all the way around. So we're gonna start row two by doing a chain of one. So chain one, turn our work around, and insert our hook into the first stitch here so we're not inserting into this chain one that we just did. This chain one right here is our turning chain. So we're not inserting into it, we're inserting into the first stitch right here. And we're gonna start by crocheting five single crochet stitches. So this is two, three, four, and five. So after crocheting five single crochet stitches along here, we have now reached the point of our ear. So this is gonna be our point of our ear right here. And now we have to crochet three single crochet stitches into the point right here to allow us to turn around before we continue down the other side of the chain here. So we're gonna specifically be inserting, crocheting these three single crochet stitches into our turning chain at the top here. So you see this little loop? We are crocheting three single crochet stitches into this turning chain. So one, two, and three. And crocheting the three single crochet stitches into this turning chain here kind of brought us around here. And now we're going to crochet down the other side of the chain here. So we're gonna crochet five single crochet stitches. So I'm just inserting right into the next stitch here. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and inserting right into this last chain here to do our fifth single crochet. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut my yarn, but I'm gonna leave it nice and long because I'm gonna be using this yarn to sew the ear onto the head. So I'm leaving it nice and long, cutting it, and I'm just gonna fasten off. So now the crochet portion of the ear is done. So the next step for the ear is to now fold the base in half, and we're gonna use this leftover tail yarn here to sew the base so that it stays folded in half like this. So I'm just going to thread this tail through a darning needle. And now I'm just gonna take my ear here, fold it like this, and now I'm just going to sew about two to three stitches here at the bottom of the ear so that it stays folded. And then I personally like this tail yarn to come out through right in the front here. So I'm just, once I've sewed it folded like this, I'm just gonna bring it out through the front and center here. So it looks like this. So I have now fully completed the ear and this is what it should look like. So I'm gonna make a second ear exactly the same way that I did this ear right here. And then I'm going to start sewing them onto the head like this. Okay, so now I have both ears completed and I'm gonna start sewing them onto the head so I personally like to sew the ears along round two right here. So I sew them one here and the other one also along round two. So I'm just gonna sew these off camera and then I'll come back to show you the results. I just finished sewing the ears onto the head and they're both sewn onto round two. And now the next step is just embroidering on the little nose. So I'm gonna take my thin black yarn here and cut a small amount. I'm gonna thread it through my darning needle. And now I'm going to embroider one horizontal line from here to here and one vertical line from here to here. And the way that I like to embroider my amigurumis is I like to start from the back 
and bring my needle out through the front like this. And I'll show you why in a second. So when I pull my yarn, I'm not pulling it all the way through. I'm leaving about mm, this amount of yarn on the other end. Now I'm going to embroider my horizontal line. When I insert my needle here, I'm gonna bring it out through here. And here's my horizontal line. I'm not pulling too tight because I don't want it to disappear within the chenille yarn. And then I'm just going to insert my needle here into the center. And then I'm gonna bring out my needle out through the same hole that I first inserted my needle through, right here. I'm gonna bring it out through here. And again, I'm just pulling not too tight. And this is what the nose looks like. Oh, it's so cute. It adds so much character to the bunny. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now the reason I want both ends, the starting tail and the end tail to come out through the same hole is now I'm just going to tie a knot. And then I'm going to thread both ends through a darning needle. And now I'm just going to insert my needle back into that same hole to weave in both ends. And by doing this, the knot just disappears. And by doing it this way, I now don't have to tie any bulky knots around my embroidery, which personally I just think looks a lot better. So now I'm just going to cut these ends and tuck it in. So now we have fully finished crocheting our bunny. And it is looking so cute. So I now have two little bunnies and they're so cute. I love them so much. I probably will make a few more before Easter because they're really easy to make and super quick to make as well. Something I just noticed though is my pink bunny is slightly bigger than my yellow bunny, but I use the exact same yarn and hook size. So I don't really know what happened there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun making these little bunnies. And if you made yourself a little bunny, I hope you had fun making it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments. I would be more than happy to answer them. And if there's anything that I'm missing in this tutorial or anything you guys think I could improve on in the future, please let me know because this was my first Amigurumi tutorial on YouTube and I wanna continue to improve them as I continue to make them in the future. And if you have Instagram and you take any photos of your finished bunnies, please tag me because I would love to see them. That would honestly make my day. I would love to see your creations. Just tag me at Crafty Crochet or at Danica Makes Things. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye!